Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 lore series. Last episode didn't show you but right here, right here there is a... This, some gauntlets, some gloves. Um, this right here. Is that really good for Astarion? Oh yeah and just so you know, apologies for not making the introduction as per usual but let's... I hope you're ready for today because it's gonna be intense so this one gives you 1d4 necrotic damage it's really good for the crossbows so we're gonna have that as well but anyway to the matters that interest us um maybe i should explain that this devil fight will we had at the at the end of the last episode uh, as i said you can unravel that many many different ways and you can just get to kill the rats and free him and try to fuck around with uh, Raphael that's always nice to get on his nerves you know and uh, here we got a ring I believe I'm not entirely sure not the boots of brilliance yes just doing a quick recap of what we did last time it's also this thing that we didn't check um, if you were to do this whole section differently you would get here first well chewed spider carcass oozes on the ground and I want you to see <laughs> to, to look at this the meat tastes of rot and sour milk your stomach lurches, but your loins tingle. Was that arousal? Weird, though. Why are you looking at that dead spider coquettishly? In amongst the rot is an unmistakable sweetness. Succubus spittle. The meat is charmed. Succubus. So, so, yeah. As I said, if you were to do that differently, that is the hint. That gives you to tell you that there is a succubus, which is basically the panther, the the panther that was fighting with the jorger. Anyhow, there is many other things here that we didn't see, and yeah, guys, I I am not expressing the amount of heaviness that this episode will unravel for us today but yeah consequently following the the, um, the different options idea of art. We're doing this when you get to help the demon down here we can see well we can see shards ours but that's not the point down there in the lower level it's like a ritual going on and you can get to kill all the rats and etc anyway there's a few things uh over here so we're just gonna go take a look i don't know if i can avoid taking damage it seems not So yeah, you're gonna go all the way through here, but uh, through somewhere else, basically. And there's a hidden uh, little thing here. The mirrors here seem to not reflect light, but devour it. Chamber of Command. Hmm, we should uh, we should bring a Starion. Hmm, right. This is not really too useful, besides 
The mentioning of Lady Shards em embraces or well, certainly the many of Night Singer's faithful claim. Right, so there is a name or a couple of names that are mentioned a lot. The Night Singer and the Night Song. Maybe the most important thing about that for you to know is that it's not the same thing at all. Silver key. There was magic within this mirror once. Consuming magic. But it's shattered now. The mirror is shattered and beyond any use. Very well. Well, yeah, let's bring our starter. Ouch. Mm. Yeah, he doesn't make it. Mm, very well then. Gotta use a misty step. That's it for this uh, part of the area. However, there is. Mm, wait, where is it? Oh yeah, over there. So I guess Kalakalon, since she's got a misty step, we can go over here. There's also a few things to see. Mostly to loot, basically, but still interesting nonetheless, considering it's a gilded chest over there. See a lot of the absolute. Oh, okay. Nice. Pay close attention. Investigating strange singing. Ascertain any connection to the re the relic highlighted. Do not deviate. Do not fail. Resolve promptly. That is from Balthazar. And you could see that it would seem that's it. So let's just jump back into the teleport. Now, it would seem like we are on the right track. It is a broken lever here. So what we sh uh, what we're gonna get going today is to complete them trials. These more orders from Balthazar. Uh, seek the means to access the relic. Search in the library. Do not deviate. Well, the same thing, basically. Treasure. This is where it just starts. The bowl contains an ancient rust colored blood stain. It forms a neat disc as if spilled calmly and willingly. This is one of Lady Shah's trials. Allow me. It's important. Very well. Values those that can remain unseen 
and can still obtain what they want. Leading. Stealth is a virtue derived from her very essence. What a day. So for this, obviously we're gonna use a Starion. These are the tests, the trials. So you can see there is those uh shadow thingies. The bottom right there. There's a couple of them. There's many ways you can do this. It's uh But it may if done properly. Right, that's because it's a stealth um like test. Well, this looks familiar. Hopefully by lighting the torch. Uh Oh yeah, and also because Astarion is a stealthy character, that um, that thing that happens when you get discovered uh, can sometimes be avoided even if they see you. Because you do the saving throw. But well, the easy way is just to... Mm, See, that's what I meant. This is the easy way to do it, just to sneak around till here, and because we got a and we can actually unlock this. Right. And this is the gem that we were looking for before. These gems go in the platform. So that's the first one. No one stopped me yet. Trials of Shar. The Gauntlet of Shar. Countless initiates walked these halls once. Seeking to become dark justices. I will follow in their path. I will succeed. Right, so today we're gonna do quite a bit of drilling, but only the important stuff. Or at least what I consider yeah, uh, what I consider important. Her most hallowed mercy. However, I will still be holding the pages for the ones that want to read everything. Right, so this is mostly for shard. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another of Lady Shah's trials that her initiates must face. This one would challenge their combat prowess. us that we are our own worst enemy much of the time her embrace will elude us until we shed that which holds us back right so self same trial what what's going on in this one as the name is sort of self-explanatory but still quite eludent what we do here is basically we fight ourselves as you can see. These are not so difficult. I mean, they can hit hard. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see how we manage. So basically, the self-same trial. It's uh, you're fighting copies of yourself. See, that's uh, Starion. So I reckon... That's Shadowheart. Hello, you. Mm. Can't afford 
would stay idle. Now that I think about it, this was uh, that the alienation is probably not the best. Let's have some fun. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Come on, let's go. Just getting rid quick of one of them could be cool. He do it. doesn't miss it now. There you are. Count on me. Shall we cut and run? Time for a new approach. Right. Now let's see how it's going on over here. Yeah, that is some damage, quite frankly. Damn. Right, so these are shadows more likely, so probably radiant damage. Not much else that I can do there. This way. I can't move much. I definitely don't have a shot. Bye forever, pal. This one still stands, and as for myself, that's there. The other car is like, still invisible, I don't know, might be here. Yeah. Execution. Ready. I guess I could have uh, thrown the lights, but I don't really know where she is. On my word. But it's just stay there. Tricky. Mm. Let's end this. Oh, true, I don't have any of that. As usual. 
ballistas, I mean the crossbows. Attention to the ring that they they throw. Killer sweetheart. When you kill a creature, your next attack roll will be a critical hit. Once spent, this effect refreshes after a long rest. And that's that's not bad. It's pretty cool. Uh, we got the gem here. As for Karlak. Uh, My faith will guide me. I only got the should definitely rest right. real soon. She must have a... Well, I don't know who has them. I do. There we go. Well, oh, there it is. Second trial. This is building up. Go on to the next one. Whatever it's coming next, guys, I can only say that it's that it's pretty fucking cool. I think Carl like it's now uh, cursed because she got hit by her clown. That's something I did not know, by the way. Carlos Foley. Affected entity has a uh, has all ability scores reduced by two for attacking a reflection that is not their own. Ah, oh, that's why. Okay, so yeah, she's got less HP and apparently she now makes less damage. Well, if that ain't if that ain't cool, but yeah, what else have you got for us? Probably we should level up. Never quiet. I didn't even realize. Right. There is not much to do in this level to explain, quite frankly. We just get the extra feet. Uh, but maybe Starion has something. Uh, well, it's got a new spell. Maybe we should check on that. Uh, you know what? Animal friendship might be useful just for the lols. Or another heal for himself. The thing is, it doesn't really matter anymore because we're not gonna be paying any attention to it. But yeah, what else have you got for us? Her most sacred path. The most sacred path. Faith leap trial. Very well, that's so. Wits and blades always. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't really need to. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Right. Another trial to judge the metal of Lady Shah's initiates. This one would test their ability to navigate her sacred darkness. It's only a little unit, you know? So there, as you can see, the... The path kinda shows. If we get close, it doesn't. 
So, um, now another thing I might need to explain is there is three lights um, around shards. Every time we die uh, or we step wrong in this trial, one of the lights uh, vanish and we are teleported to the beginning. If you don't have any lights because you fail three times, you next time you step out, you die straight up. So let's see if we can manage. I don't really know um, any other way to do it. I mean, I, I, there is a few. But the truth is, the path doesn't really show. You you kind of have to memorize it. You can see it from certain angles and when you uh, yeah, at a certain distance. But you kind of have to guess. And for some reason, in turn-based mode, uh, You only have so many meters to... To check on them. Which is kinda weird. Don't really know why that is... A thing. But yeah, so you kind of have to remember it. And if we didn't step wrong... We've got it. That's the last one. The inner sanctum is within reach now. That is the last one. Is it not? Well... No. It isn't. But the next one... It's an important one because that's when we're going to get to read and explain what we are going to be um, seeing today. Which is fairly interesting in my humble opinion. So yeah, three trials. Surpassed. Carla is going to be like that the whole trip, just so you know. Unless we rest or something. This is the last one. Now here. Very careful because... Once we enter this... Place... We're all silenced. Radio. Well, Shadow her inter fighting. Never mind. <laughs> We're already fighting. Okay, let's see. Uh, Got to focus. Gods, it's hot in so here. we are currently uh, silent, so we cannot use any spells. And this thing, the librarian, it's... What has us silenced? I won't give in. So as soon as, uh, the sooner we get rid of it... There we go. Light on my feet. Dark Justiciers and Dark uh, Avengers.
But at least now we can use the spells. It's not like we're gonna do anything, really, but... There's that. Astarion still... Still, uh... Hiving. Nice! So yeah, that build is pretty good. Once we made it right. Remember we were playing with uh when I made that build we were playing with uh a random crossbow that didn't do any damage. I probably shouldn't have done that. It's kind of a waste. Ah, damn it. Every time I pick up something. My little trick. Let's start. That guy as well. Blood comes easy these days. This feels good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why you move like that. That is interrupted with what exactly? Ah, well. What now? I'll strike you down. The execution. Let's have some cut. As per usual. Got it. Didn't I just hit that guy? Very well, lads. There's many books here. But thankfully, I already know which are the goods. And they are on this side of the wall. However, might as well check out this one uh, also well we can do this but and uh, this one is not so uh, important we'll read it anyway none can match the fervor and dedication with which the dark justice herself lady char they are her most loyal most ruthless warriors training her methods and imbued with her secret doctrine each initiate must take the life of a selenite before they can call themselves the dark justiciers that way it can be said that every member of their ranks has already wasted their play with the blood of Lady Shar's foes. Well, what do you know? In the end, it was useful. Keep that in mind. This one is the teaching of loss, forgetting and loss. A dense tome written in an elegant script, outlining the teachings of Char. Loss teaches us the truth. In its void are we our purest expressions of ourselves. There is nothing nobler than to forget and to surrender oneself to the darkness. For that little grief, 
that gets us there. The, lady, uh, the Dark Lady rewards us with Night Eternal Embrace. Well, that one certainly wasn't very useful. Traps. How considerate. Very well, here. This has traps, but I'm just gonna tank it. There's no point on... This I mean everything. Right. Tom of the Cell, same trial. We, uh, the one in which we fought uh, copies of ourselves. A dusty Tom advising Sharon's initiates on how to please the Night Singer by succeeding the self same trial. Initiates must ensure that they defeat their mirror image. Any violence meted out to the others will be penalized. And that's what happened. Uh, that's what's happening to Karlak right now. That would have been uh, useful to remember. Look at look the way she's going now. <laughs> Very well. It is said that the sacred spear was. Uh, oh, lads, attention to this one. It is said that the sacred spear was once wielded by Night Singer herself. Remember that I told you the Night Singer and the Night Song that are being mentioned currently. They, these two are different completely, by the way. And now awaits her chosen champion. The elders have placed, placed it in a secret place, safe until its intended wielder discovers it. With it in hand, a final sacrifice can be made at last, and the foul moon with Seluna shall weep bitter tears and forsake her misguided followers. But let no ambitious of the night be tempted to seize the spear for themselves. Unbeaten, for they shall find it in, in a, uh, they'll find it, an inner bubble. Apologies, stripped of its holy purpose. Let all of Lady Shar's children be honored to protect this sacred instrument. When the time comes, they shall know they aided the progress of Lady Shar's destined warrior, and help Usher in a return to the endless ecstasy of oblivion. So. This uh, sacred spear can be used to kill um, Selunite, um, well, essence, basically. Keep that in mind. Teaching of loss, the Night Singer. The Night Singer is like, it's Shar, basically. Walk in silence of night song. Uh, walk in silence, the night song. Only the night singer herself, Shar, mistress of the night, lady of loss. Her name, her names are many, but her purpose is simplicity itself. Light was a mistake, and life is an illusion. A discordant song composed of lies, breaking the peace of oblivion. Put your faith in Char as your champion. Allow her to silence the false song in your heart and return you to her embrace. Nothingness is all you need, the eternal womb, where you are safe in the darkness with Mother Shar. Damn it. The ancient tome advises Shar and initiates how to triumph on in the soft step trial. That that one we also did. They must excel in some of Lady Shar's most cherished art such as stealth luck picking disarming and evasion the the unsubtle are destined to fail maybe that's why it, it didn't show maybe you should have gone like this i didn't remember that but very well i hope that was understandable <clears throat> or at least i hope you decided to read it for yourself and skip me reading because it's pretty terrible when i read in english truth be told but, oh yeah, and this is the button you need. What we get so far, quick recap, it's that there is a sacred spear that can be used to defeat um, Moon Maven related stuff, Selenite stuff. We also learn that Sharon initiates or Sharon devotees in order to become a Dark Justicia, they have to kill a Selenite devotee or a satellite re uh, related person 
So those are just things to keep in mind. You really want to. It's full of traps here. Teaching of loss, own secret. Lady Shard knows what you bury deep inside your spirit. She knows what pains you and guns away at your very being. Be open with her about your failings. Let her place the soothing hands of oblivion upon your wounds. Let her know your utterly uh, know you utterly so she can release you from your shackles. Very well. So in here Well first of all let me check that is nothing else here to be read. A scrap of parchment covered in desperate scroll guesswork. If the rumors are true, the answer lies within the pages of these books. It must do. A hidden way to become the first among all dark justiciers. How can I not pursue such a prize? It does not matter. If I was not commanded to walk this path, Lady Shard will surely admire my cunning and tenacity. I will score every page, devour every word. I must find this relic. I must win a place at her right hand. Remember... What Balthazar was looking for down here is the relic. The relic that grants Catholic Thorn, uh, Thorn his invulnerability. So here... What can silence the night song? Indeed. What can silence the night song? So that would be the teaching of... Uh, night Singer. I believe. Yes. There's no time to waste. Trap. That is a spear. And we got a Dark Justicia's uh, half plate. Uh, truth be told, none of these items are good. But they do look pretty good. This is no ordinary spear. It may be important. Best keep it close. Precisely. And yeah, it's also not very good. <laughs> but there it is. Deliver the Night Mother's mercy upon her enemies. Well, this one is kind of good, but everyone in the party already has good stuff, so we might keep it. We'll see what we end with that. Shroud yourself in blackest night. Very well. And this is not it, lads. Things are about to get a lot more interesting. I really hope you're enjoying so far. I've been practicing, I've been trying to read in English out loud because it's it seems like it's a problem for me. I didn't know. When I read in my mind, it doesn't really happen. All the trials are complete. We have gotten all the balls. Well, all the the gems, forgive me. Balls did sound a bit a little bit weird. There it is. Well, you know what? We can just do that. Since we got them all, now we can see about that. Um, about this platform here. Oh. 
Upon the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your Lady Shah, surmount her trials, and rise a dark justicia. Your convictions are proven true. This is the gauntlet of Lady Shah. Perhaps here you can show yourself to be worthy. A dark justicia at last. Well, this is basically to explain uh, everything we have already done. So, no point. Right. Huh? Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. Oh, I failed the perception check. It's fine. Really. I just feel we're on the right track. Right track. I'm right where I need to be. Under Lady Shah's gaze. That is interesting. I've got a long road ahead. Come on, Carlark. As you can see here, the remaining three gems go in it. Uh, Shah's got them. So, before anything, quick recap. When we came down here, it's basically because we were to help Balthazar reclaim this um, relic. We've learned that this relic is what gives Catherine Thorne his immortality, his invulnerability. Um, besides that, we've learned that in the in the Sharon culture. To call it something. This must be where initiates undertook their final preparations. There is this spear that can kill cellulite related stuff, and also that every dark justicier, in order to become a dark justicier, they have to kill a cellulite, as she was saying right there. So, deliver the night mother's mercy upon her enemies. Only want you to remind to rem only want to remind you that yourself in blackest night. And here's where the party Trust starts. Your secrets to the night. Very well. Entrance to Shadowfell. That if you don't remember, Shadowfell is where Halcyn went and uh, to save Thaniel. I wonder if... This must be the last step. I need to pray. Only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far. Right. So the thing here now... If you do this one and you fail it... Well, you fuck up, basically, but for the sake of the series, I actually have to do it. Otherwise, it makes no sense. You feel your mind slip into shadow hearts, but you are not the only one present. There is another ancient commanding oh. rendered from purest darkness. You command. 
Night Singer. Now go. Warm my blade with moon crazed blood. And be wary of your companion. She pries in your thoughts. Oh. That wasn't for you to hear. Well, uh, I deserve to know what I'm getting myself into. It's simple. My lady Shah demands a sacrifice. My armor is too massive. One life. Not that it matters, but her reward aligns with your own interests. One life is to have a prize. I mean, I've killed Come many. Breathe their last just so we could make it this far. Trust me, this will help us. Right, but if you've been following, we know that Shard is not precisely um, where the truth relies. Yeah, uh, let's move just on. Remember what I said. Let me do what I need to. However, Shadowheart does want to become a Dark Justicer, so once here there is not going back into Act 1, just for you to know. Forget, forget the Emerald Grove. But let's get going to the Shadowfell. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. Her domain. This is the Shadow Fell. Right. I feel lighter, unburdened, as if the softest push could send me drifting away. Really pay attention to what the Dark Justicers say as we get closer. Damn it. So difficult to navigate here, at least on the controller. Talk to her. This place is cool. Killer. I have emptied my heart of falsehoods. I have vanquished your foes. Descend to look upon her. Lady there. Have to keep going. Lady Shah's will shall be done, as sure as night will fall. Very well, lads. We save here. And look at that. 
Night Song Soul Cage. So this is the relic. This is where Ketherick Thorn gets his invulnerability. So, as you might remember, we learned that he was a Selunite, a Selune worshipper. And then he became a Shar worshipper. And this is the place where he was hiding his relic. However, because he no longer worships Shar and turns to Merkel, he can no longer come here. Meaning that he was sending Balthazar and everyone else to retrieve it. Now, however, and this is the Asimar, by the way, that the devil was referring. An Asimar, it's a, it's a human that is somehow born of a god, basically. So she is somehow literal daughter of Seluna. And I think so far that's all you need to know. So let's get to it. I have felt you coming. The first in a century. You who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal, let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude. Until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Right. There's many ways that this can go, by the way. You can choose whatever, really. Obviously, we want to see the truth about it. And we can obviously want Shadowheart to make her own decisions. Choose your own way, Shadowheart. You cannot allow your goddess to control you. Cannot allow. This is my mistress's will, my life's purpose. It's basically pretty much the same sort of situation with Lacel and Blackith. But that's why we call uh, a silver tongue, basically. The conversation can be be much deeper if not done the persuasion. If I have to step over your corpse to fulfill what Lady Shah asks of me, so be it. Your choice. Well, well, well. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I... Empowered to kill the child of a god! Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be.
It wasn't. That's basically Shar giving her the spear. Did them. Lady Shah will disown me. What will happen to me? Not what will happen. What will you do? Your past is not yet lost. Your future is not yet fixed. Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Sharon. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. Given me a great gift, little warrior. Don't you find it oh so curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a stirring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said. Thus will it be so. Are you ready? Right. So I was quiet there, but the whole thing with the music, it's, uh, it's fantastic. My weapon? Oh yeah, about the weapon. Oh, and it shall be yours. And then, we're going to kill Ketherick Thor. We need to leave. Lady Shah won't stand for us to be here, not after what we did. Right. Shah is angry, she's been remarkably quiet about it, lol. That's what frightens me. She must be angry. Yet, I don't feel it. Or hear it. There's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there. And see what she's unleashed against Kethric Thorm. Well, there you go. And there she is. And this is basically why you um, can no longer go to Act 1 and everything, because you can only move forward from here. She's already gone uh, to kill Catholic Thorn.
powerful ally. Well chosen, Shadowheart. Right. Then again, if you were to choose the other route and cure, yeah, you gotta get a legendary item. But then this is, well, this is not bad, bad. It's all right. But yeah, just so you know. Any, anyhow, let's get out of here. I might have been dead. This... This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave. But Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but... I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught. Abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic... Admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. Intense, isn't it? <laughs> Unless you can do that ball. Definitely did the right thing, I think. You're lucky to have such confidence. Me. I think the full price of what I've done has yet to reveal itself. I'm a target to Lady Shah's followers now. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethric Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise. And hope that answers soon follow. Well, I don't even know if I... If I ask. Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think of little else. Yes. I'm counting on it. I have little else to turn to. The sooner I speak to Night Song, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all. Very well. And there's that, that's a lot of lore today. Fallen druids of the Emerald Enclave. Very interesting. This the story of Shadowheart is just fantastic to unravel, quite frankly. But, obviously, uh, oh yeah, look at this. So, as you can see, no more places from the Act 1. We can only move forward uh, from now on. But before anything, we definitely should get resting. Look at Karlak. <laughs> She's been like that the whole episode. But, very well. Now, I hope you, you guys are enjoying I try to unravel the best I can. Note aside, I am uh, practicing a little bit my reading, quite frankly. 
I think it's needed. No one needs to talk. It seems. Oh. around and around. The bile within is unsettled. Each moment brings a new surge. Oh, it's a dark courage. Sleep like blissful lumps of meat. She came all the way to this world just to die. This guy. You no, absolutely so not. Absolutely not. I won't lay so much as a talon on her. I wouldn't rob you of that delight. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will tonight. The moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. Absolutely not. I killed the cleric instead. Oh. Okay, let's see. You judge my uh, affections wrongly. I'm I am much closer to Astarion. So I guess, I'm guessing if you do this, Astarion dies or something. Don't care about her at all. Well, we can try and deceive them, deceive him, but we need to get this because I am not down to kill her. That's not happening. Right. So all those sweet words were said in the hope of lying with her. <laughs> A fine performance. Oh, my itching liege. She is only using you. Don't you know that? Shit, I don't know. I truly got no clue. It is my duty to ensure you are making the right decisions. That's right, because I am persuading him. There was much uh, disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little moon maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. Right, because this is persuasion. I'm, I'm assuming, I'm just gonna tell him off, and I'm not gonna do it. Right? I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. Good night, sweet lady. Your companion rests blissfully, without a fear in the world. Fuck. Yeah, wake her up. As your hand approaches her body, it wavers. It longs to close around her throat. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh. Right. Your breath and body. The heat of you. You know what it does to me. 
Bah. You look sick as a cadaver. What's come over you? Ah, uh, yeah. Point me the way, and I will scrape my enemy's skin from its body. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Oh. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. Okay, what do we tell her? Yeah, let's talk about Alfira. We haven't talked about her. We Raise need to get going. Against me, and even a lover would not live to speak the tale. You're suffering. I see it. Perhaps the shadow curse still lingers. No. You are more than cursed. You are taken. This is no new affliction, is it? To think you'd keep this from me. Chuck. It might have been your hand that struck Elfira, but it was this madness that guided it. Suddenly you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow vile. And you faint in a dizzy blur. Damn. You are not yourself. All control is gone. Fucking Keep it hell. together or so help me. It's got you up and eat you raw. What the hell? Try to bite her. Damn. Oh. Right. Uh. Listen to me. Whatever this lunacy, defy it, or you will answer to my blade. The blood with clots for me, like liquid robbers. Shit. Fucking hell, that's th those are high throws. Fuck. Do I have any? Yeah. Critical. That's fate. For now, rest. We'll speak come dawn. The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. Damn. You once again inhabit your own mind. Chuck. Lucky for us, we're still standing. Say the same for Alfira. Not oh. to be maudlin, but I'm glad I didn't gut you. Now, answers. Nah, let confess everything, dude. What the hell? This urge strikes next. We will fight it and we will win. You see? That's why we're getting married to this toad, lads. Now, a new dawn has come with new victories to claim. So let's get to claiming them before someone else beats us to it. Oh, holy shit. Very well, lads. Wow. Well, I would say this was a pretty good episode. We had a we had our fill of Lord on Raveling and we also had that part of um this playthrough being my first not also being a Lord playthrough but being my first Dark Urge. It's been intense. It's been wild. I really hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.